Hello there. So, about a month ago, I was talking to a friend of mine, showing him some of the new stuff that I've done. And I was surprised to hear that he would have changed a lot if he had to make the game ready version to make it easier to model. I was mad about this. How can you make the design noticeably worse if uh, you can just spend a bit less time on the game ready and 99% of people would not notice the difference, even if you told them what to look for. And that was someone very flexible with a no religious like approach to clean mesh or game ready production in general. So I thought, is there really no better way to speed things up? I was really motivated because while I knew that a lot of cutting corners uh, wouldn't fit 95% of uh, AAA pipelines, this would make a huge difference for indie industry. What if I am an indie company that would rather have two things for the price of one with almost no difference for an average person looking at it? I've spent more than a month learning different game-ready pipelines tools and approaches, tried really hard to come up with uh, solutions for things I thought could be done faster or better, and I got some results. Okay, let's address a couple of things right away. While I am showing the full process, because I thought some of you might find it a good way to start, I'm not really a 3D artist. I would make a bad job explaining why I do certain things. It's just that there is no one else to show that workflow currently. You must have a good understanding of modern game ready approaches to comfortably use this method. So instead of spending huge effort and coming up with a mediocre explanation of full game ready production, I would rather aim you at the amazing tutorial on ArtStation Learning from Alex Medina. Let's now talk about the software for this method. I personally use Plasticity, Pixies, Blender, Substance. While Plasticity is cheap, Blender is free, not counting the add-ons, and Substance is basically a must to texture game-ready assets, Pixies with its price is the elephant in the room here. And as I'm finishing all the videos, there is a Blender bridge out that has fixed the surface tolerance export. Now it's calculated the same way for everything. You just have to make sure the live link is enabled and every object is selected before the refaceting. After that, you can mark it sharp. And because it gets the model straight out of plasticity, there won't be any potential issues with CAD repair on import. Currently, as a beta version, it's only available for studio. You will have to wait uh, for it to release for indie version. But I don't think you will regret getting studio anyway. Let's quickly go over the add-ons I'll be using. Uh, text tools. It's free. For working with UVs and baking. UV Packmaster as the best packing tool for a reasonable price. And Zen Barbecue, a very cheap tool to put our bevel shader usage on the next level. I'll provide all the links in a text file. We'll discuss my techniques used in the method in the next video.